a total eclipse of the sun, visible today over North America for the last time in this century. This is an ABC News special. Live coverage of the solar eclipse. Now from New York, here is correspondent Frank Reynolds. Good morning. This is indeed a special events broadcast of a genuine special event. The last total eclipse of the sun over the continent this century. The moon is moving between the sun and the earth and across a relatively narrow strip of the northwestern United States and central Canada. What you are seeing now is a picture taken from the Goldendale Observatory. And it is, it's showing the eclipse of the sun over Portland, Oregon. It is approximately 75% or so of uh, totality. In 13 minutes, it will be uh, total over Portland, and we'll show you a fantastic sight there. The sun went out for a time today as Americans experienced the last big solar eclipse of the 20th century. Residents of all mainland states except Alaska could see at least a partial eclipse as the moon passed between the sun and the earth. But the effect was almost total in a strip of the southeastern United States. There, skies darkened, temperatures fell as much as 14 degrees in 90 minutes, cows in pastures prepared to go to sleep, and streetlights came on. Scientists from many parts of the world gathered at observatories and vantage points to use the rare opportunity to maximum advantage. In Atlanta, the lights began going on in the office buildings at noontime. As pedestrians gazed up at the sky, the streetlights were turned on by automatic controls reacting to the twilight and the passing motorists switched on their headlights. The eclipse reached its fullest at 12.23 p.m., and this is how it looked. Because of their positions in the sky, the moon appeared to be a tiny bit smaller than the sun behind it. And because of the mountains and valleys on the surface of the moon, the light did not form a true ring, but shone between the peaks, giving the appearance of bright beads. On the Georgia Tech campus, a group of students placed six chickens outdoors to see how they'd react. And as darkness fell, the chickens fell asleep for a short midday nap. Like the eclipse, it lasted less than a minute. Last week's coverage, which you can view online at CNN10.com, had several reports previewing today's top story. It's a total solar eclipse spanning the U.S. from the Pacific to the Atlantic Oceans. The last time an eclipse like this happened was 99 years ago. The next one isn't so far away. It'll be in the year 2024 over America. For those directly in the moon's umbra, or shadow, the sky will darken as the moon passes between the sun and the earth. The next thing up is a clip from an Indonesian solar eclipse back in 2016 that I definitely want to capture here in the U.S., which was the elusive shadow bands. These are little shadows that race along uh, flat plane surfaces that you usually see before and after the eclipse. Now, many astronomers believe that this is caused by our atmospheric 
origins where there's these turbulent cells that uh, focus and defocus sharp edges of light uh, from the solar surface just before totality. Uh, and the movements of these atmospheric cells is random because each eclipse and each viewing location differs from year to year. Uh, so the appearance and the movement of the shadows bands cannot be predicted beforehand. So it's still just one of those elusive phenomenons. But I definitely wanted everybody to see this because I, I find it fascinating and hopefully you will too. Thank you.